For almost a decade, tech companies have been joking about creating augmented reality headgear and spectacles. Even more credible rumors claim that Apple will release a mixed reality headset this year. Unfortunately, up to this moment, the items have either been absurdly expensive to the point where they are outside of their specialty, or they are reasonably priced and usable, but don't genuinely enhance any reality. The Rocket Max, the newest pair of glasses from Chinese brand Rocket, falls into the latter category. Although they are marketed as smart glasses for augmented reality, these applications are scarce and in need of improvement. The best way to utilize the Rocket Max is as a wearable portable screen that floats in front of the user's face. The good news is that the Rocket Max is the best device of its kind to date and is incredibly effective at doing this. On Rocket's official website, you can pre-order the Rocket Max for $439 for the glasses alone or $508 for the spectacles plus wireless adapter. In late April, it will be accessible on Amazon. When plugged into a device like a smartphone or laptop, the Rocket Max are glasses with a pair of micro OLED displays in each eye, and they can project images that appear in front of the wearer's eyes like a floating screen. The Max, Rocket's follow-up to the Rocket Air from 2021, enters a consumer-grade AR glasses market that is becoming increasingly crowded with offerings from established tech companies like Lenovo and TCL, as well as hot Chinese startups like Enreal. I tested the most recent AR glasses from the aforementioned companies, and I can say that Rocket Max is superior in a number of ways. First, at 75 grams, they are the lightest AR glasses ever made. When comparing the thickness of the glasses from the front to the inner area that meets the face, they are likewise the thinnest. On the top and bottom of each arm, there is the aforementioned directional speaker system that produces richer audio than the speakers found in the Unreal Air, TCL NXT Wear S, or Rocket's earlier glasses. Of course, wireless earbuds are still preferred if you desire complete immersion. The two Sony Micro OLED panels produce full HD images that would be seen on a 215-inch screen that was put around 20 feet away. The displays utilize bird bath optic technology, similar to other modern AR glasses, where the screen is aimed downward, and the image is reflected back to our eyes. Because the screen is not directly in front of your eyes, this appearance considerably reduces eye strain, and gives the impression that the screen is farther away. By default, the real world, which is transparent, is presented above the graphics. However, Rocket comes with a lens cover that lets you project the images onto a blank wall. The latter is considerably more immersive, thus I like it better. I actually got the impression that a sizable floating screen is hovering above my face while I'm in a dark environment. According to Rocket, the Rocket Max's images encompass 106% of the sRGB color space. I wasn't able to personally test these, but when I wore them to edit films on my MacBook, the colors seemed nearly identical to the display on my 2023 MacBook Pro. The majority of the glasses are made of plastic, but they are comfortable to wear and have hinges that allow the glass arms to open widely. Utilizing the Rocket Max is primarily a plug-and-play process. Most current smartphones should be able to reflect their screens as soon as you connect them in. Some devices, such as Samsung phones, will even ask you if you wish to activate Samsung DeX. Screen mirroring is the ideal way to utilize these glasses, as was stated in the introduction, and fortunately, it functions wonderfully. For the time being, only Android users can access the companion software Rocket created for the glasses. An AR platform that resembles an iOS home screen in landscape mode will be unveiled by the app. You can launch a variety of apps from here to display in front of the virtual space. You can map these to particular areas of your field of vision, so, for example, Instagram could be hovering in the top left, a web browser could be positioned below it, and a Twitter feed could be located on the right. There are multiple panes of these windows, you can move some of them in either direction, because the room seems to go on forever. If you want to position extra windows outside of your immediate field of view, you can even look around by twisting your head, because the glasses have sensors for 3 doff head tracking. Although the experience could be improved, it is still cool. A phone screen serves as a touchpad that you use to manage the user interface, but there is a slight but noticeable delay between what you see on the screen, and what your finger swipes across the touchpad. And for now, the majority of apps are simple. You must first sign into the actual website in your web browser for the majority of sites before proceeding. There should be specific apps, as that would be much better. Since the software needed work, as I've mentioned a few times earlier, I mostly neglected the AR platform. I merely used the glasses to reflect the screen of my phone or laptop instead. I find having a big portable screen quite useful, even if this is hardly the AR experience that was promised. For instance, I frequently use laptops to work in coffee shops. By connecting the Rocket Max, I get a larger display than what my laptop gives, and can keep the screen at my typical eye level, without having to look down. My neck and posture will benefit greatly from this. Because the display on the Rocket Max is considerably better than the majority of airplane screens, it has also become a necessity for me to bring it with me when I fly. 
Simply pre-download movies from Netflix or Amazon Prime to your phone prior to taking off. Plug in the glasses, put on a nice set of wireless headphones with noise cancellation, and enjoy movies much more effectively than ever before. And as strange as it seems, I like to watch movies in bed while wearing glasses. I don't need to hold my phone over my face or place an iPad up near the bed. The screen simply hovers in front of my face as I lay flat on my back. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it is useful for you, have a nice day and good luck.